Hey team, welcome back to the garage today. I have yet another oil analysis for our 2023 Honda Pilot Elite. This is the current generation Honda Pilot uh, that is now available for sale at the dealerships. The 2025s are out there on the showroom floor. So this Pilot does have the 3.5 liter Honda direct injected Earth Dreams V6, um, 10 speed automatic transmission and it does have the VCM in it. Um, this oil analysis was done using Mobile Zero W20. Uh, so there is 9,874 miles on this oil. Uh, miles on the vehicle at the time the oil was changed is 38,460. The oil was put in service on November 24th of 2024. The oil was taken out of service and completely drained, and the sample was taken 6 7 of 2025. So we got about seven months or so of, uh, of usage out of this oil, just a hair under 10,000 miles. So when I changed this oil, the oil life monitor was at 5%, and truth be told, it was probably going to trip uh, the 0% and start counting negative miles. Uh, in a day or two. That's just how I how I do it on my Hondas. Um, so the first thing we're going to get started here with is the comments as usual. And the comments are as follows. This is another nice report for your Honda Pilot where metals are stable at healthy levels. And that means we aren't spotting anything that looks like trouble for the internal parts of this V6. Your engine's leaving about the same amount of wear metals behind as those running the oil about 6,600 miles, and that's great. No contamination was found, and low and soluble show good oil filtration. TBN was a little low this time, but we think you will safely run the next oil to 11,000 miles. Very good. Um, we'll get into that. The TBN was a hair lower this go around um, than the last oil change. Um, the last oil change was 3.3, um, and we'll get into the numbers briefly on there. But uh, this oil was run through the winter. It was a harsh winter here up in the Northeast, very cold. Um, taking advantage of the Honda app, remote starting the car. So there were some idle hours on this oil versus probably what we've seen before. Um, is that the reason the TBN is lower this time? I don't know. I will say this, the oil in the previous oil change that had the TBN of 3.3 and this oil came out of the same 12 quart jug of Mobile One, uh, the box that you get at Walmart. Um, that's what I've been using because I can get two oil changes out of it uh, on the Pilot since the Pilot takes 5.8 quarts uh, on an oil change. Um, so oil filter this time, because there was a comment about filtration. I use the Honda oil filters, the blue ones that everybody calls a blue Fram. The car's still under warranty until 60,000 miles for the powertrain. If something does happen and it has to get towed to the dealership and there's a problem with the motor, I'd rather there be a Honda filter on it than a, a Wix or some other brand that I normally use. Usually I go back and forth between Wix and Pure later, mostly Wix though. Um, that way they just can't point the finger at the, the oil filter. Um, and I am changing them at every oil change um, right now because I got the cool uh, Honda tool that makes changing the filter breeze with pretty much no cleanup. And I do have a video about that on my uh, page as well. So, all right, so let's get into the analysis itself. So first we're going to start with the wear metals. Aluminum, seven. Chromium, one. Iron, 16. Copper, four. Lead, zero. Tin, zero. Nickel, zero. Silver, zero. And titanium was zero. And these are all, all these elements are in parts per million as I read through these for you. So next we are going to move on to our contaminants. Potassium, one. Silicon, 
14, and sodium, 4. Next, we'll move on to our additives. Molly, 87. Manganese, 6. Boron, 30. Calcium, 959. Magnesium, 510. Phosphorus, 515. Zinc, 604. And barium came in at 0. Next, we'll move on to our physical properties. So our SUS viscosity was 48.3. CST viscosity, 6.76. Flash point was 410 Fahrenheit. Fuel is less than 0.5%. Antifreeze was zero. Water was zero. And solubles, 0.2. And the TBN was 1.9. So definitely down from 3.3 on the last oil change, 2.6 on the one before, and then 3.4 on the one before that. Um, so we'll just keep an eye on it. I don't plan on running any more than what the maintenance binder tells us. My wife gets sick of resetting it, frankly, when it hits 15% and by 5%. Daily, I'm being asked when the oil change is going to be done. So um, definitely do not plan on going overboard there. If for nothing else, not, not to uh, upset my wife any more than I normally do. So personally, I'm happy with this uh, oil analysis. I'm happy with the job that the Mobile One's doing. I'm happy with the job that the Honda Filter's doing. Um, once it's out of warranty, I'll probably switch to my Wix XPs because I buy them six eight at a time because all three of my hondas take them so thanks for stopping by today and uh listening to my results hopefully this helps you out hopefully this gives you a little confidence in the maintenance minder i know there's a lot of opinions out there on the internet that's why i do share these um with you guys and gals so you can see in my opinion the maintenance minder can be trusted so um, this summer we're racking up the miles fast last time i checked we're already at 50 percent on the oil that's in there so I should be doing another oil change pretty soon this fall um, with all the trips that we're getting under our belt with my daughter going to college and everything this year. So um, like and subscribe. That way you'll get notified of future videos and um, look forward to talking with you soon. Thanks. Have a great day.